Hello and good morning everyone. I haven't seen a lot of this walk away uh, on Twitter and trending on YouTube. Uh, so I decided to make my walk away video uh, right after 9-11 actually. Uh, so I'll give a little history about myself and then uh, I guess how I walked away from liberalism or the Democratic Party. Uh, so I was actually, I immigrated here. I was born in India. I immigrated here at three years old or two and a half years old uh, when I was a kid. Um, my parents came here from India, uh, very hardworking people, very religious, very uh, conservative family, I'd say. Uh, we were always, you know, we were always told by my mom that education is important and that, you know, our whole goal was to be educated. Um, I recently graduated from one of the University of California campuses here in, in uh, California, where I live. Um, and I was pretty far left. Uh, I, I was a liberal, I'd say, my whole life up until last year. Uh, last year, uh, I got the red pill. And I officially declared myself a Republican this year. Um, after a lot of research, thought, and just overall looking at the policies passed by this current administration. Um, I gotta say, you know, the only reason I was ever a liberal or a Democrat was because I was told I need to be one. You know, people see my skin color, or they see that I'm an immigrant, and say, hey, you know, the Democrats are the, they're for the people, they're for brown people, they're for the minority. And uh, I was always told Republicans are racist and they don't want me to have certain rights and all this sort of nonsense. And uh, you know, come to find out, one of Trump's appointments, are, I believe our uh, secretary for the our United Nations is an, actually an Indian woman, Nikki Haley. Uh, so anyways, I did some research. I looked at both of the party platforms and I, I realized that I actually have more in common with the Republican Party than I do with the Democratic Party, especially the current Democratic Party. Uh, I had an incident happen last year here in Merced, um, which is a very liberal area now because we have this university here, and uh, it involved a it involved a conflict between an African American who was disobedient to a law officer, and said law officer had a broken jaw, uh, so. Long story short, there was a suspect wanted in this hookah lounge here in Merced. The local police uh, went over to get him. They had a warrant and everything, but uh, for the majority of the kids there were African American. They acted up. There was a conflict, and pretty soon this video went viral about the cops racially profiling these kids. And, you know, I saw that, and that was, I guess, what red pilled me what exposed me and I, I I just had I couldn't believe that the excuses they were making for these kids when they weren't listening to these cops or they were being disobedient to the cops the cops were there to do their job and I thought that was just complete bullshit to be honest with you like I've had plenty of run-in with cops and I'm you know I don't know if the camera can show but I'm pretty brown and nothing's ever happened to me you know if I get pulled over for a ticket I'm polite I get my ticket, and if I have anything to say about it, I'll just show up to court. And then the, the school I graduated from started, you know, they got behind the, the African-American students and started saying that they were victims of racism. And it was just ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. And I guess at that point, I started looking into other things. I started looking into the one in four statistic that they threw around on campus when I was there, that one in four women on campus were raped. I started looking into the wage gap. I started looking into everything, really. I even dove into the history of both political parties. Uh, and everything that had to do with civil rights, everything that had to do with freedom, uh, had the Re Republicans were on the forefront fighting for that stuff. Women's suffrage, all that was done by the Republicans. Um, and the Democrats tried to peg racism on the Republicans, which is kind of ironic, and sexism too. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to give an overview of my story. I will probably never be voting Democrat again as long as I live. Um, and I hope more and more people are walking away every day. Uh, this is a great movement. Thank you, Brandon, for starting it. Uh, trust me, there's plenty more people like us, like me, out there that are just so done with the, the, the tactics of the left and this intimidation and the bullying of people that think differently. 
And, you know, we want America, we want the America that we always love, the freedom of speech. We want everything. And uh, we just want to be respected, even though we have different opinions. Thank you.